Hello again, welcome back. Just a quick one today. I've just had this delivered. And it's a single beer. Although it should be six bottles. And I've seen a review on YouTube. And I said, oh, I quite fancy that. And the guy says, you should pick yourself some up. So I went on Amazon and there were some silly prices. And then I seen one. It was the same package as other ones, but it wasn't to be delivered till like the middle of August. I thought, yeah, I can wait. It was a lot cheaper, much cheaper. Then I got a message yesterday saying, oh, we're dispatching it earlier than that. <laughs> so that's it. So I think that's why it had been reduced in price, because it was just a long dispatch time. But it's the same price and they've dispatched it quickly. So, here it goes. And it's Strafa Henrik. I think there's six bottles. There is indeed. So it's Strafa Henrik. A quadruple beer. Uh, made in Belgium. Alcohol 11% ABV. <laughs> I don't think I've had one as strong as that before. So, a uh, 33 centiliter bottle. And the rest of it's in Dutch, I think, or Flemish. Oh, here we go, There's, there is English. For five generations, both the oldest son of the Brewer's family and their beers were called Hen or Hendrik. Following the family tradition, this unique strong quadruple beer is still brewed that's very small writing, according to the original recipe in the family brewery. Located in the heart of Bruges since 1856, Natural top for fermentation beer with re-fermentation in the bottle. For his beer transportation, this brewery built a 3.2 kilometre underground beer pipeline <laughs> under the historical city of Bruges as a world's first. So, I may be, I may, uh, be having one of these today. So I've got six bottles of that. So that is fantastic. And if you notice the, the bottle cap, it's the half moon. Fantastic. <laughs> Born lucky. Anyway, just a quickie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon hopefully ta ta for now cheers my dears hello again welcome back Got rather a special one today a couple of weeks ago i saw a review from ruku's beer reviews i think he's called the guy with the mask on and he's always got good reviews and he he had this one, and I says, I, I really like the look of that, and he says, try and get it if you can. So I went into the Amazon, and it was ridiculous prices. Then I seen a, a, a case of six for like £23 or something. But it was way into August when it was going to be delivered. And then I got an email saying, the other day, saying... We're going to, it's going to arrive sooner than expected, so we'll be dispatching it today. And it came, I don't know what, yesterday or the day before. Anyway, uh, it's Strafa Hendrik Bruges Quadruple Beer, 11% ABV. So it's a rather a special, and it's, it looked, his review, it looked, made it look really good. So we'll see what it's like so it's the half man brewery half moon half man half moon 
and that's their half moon bottle cap which is fantastic so let's have a wee look and see how it pours I don't have the, the Hendrik Straffer glass so it looks absolutely gorgeous it looks like a, a deep nutty brown when it's pouring like a chestnut I think there's still a wee bit left in the bottom there I should have read the bottle shouldn't I oh dear but it's mostly in the well there is English for five generations both the eldest son of the Brewers family and their boys were called Henri or Hendrik. Following the family tradition, this unique, strong quadruple beer is still being brewed according to the original recipe in the family brewery. Located in the heart of Bruges since 1856, that's nearly five to seven, natural top fermentation beer with re-fermentation in the bottle. For its beer transportation, this brewery Build a 3.2 kilometre underground beer pipeline under the historical city of Bruges as a world's first. Uh, so it's a Belgian beer. Uh, and the rest of it is it's either Dutch or Flemish or. Anyway. That's some head on it, isn't it? It's very moose like and thick head. Colour, oh, that's, that is so. I, I don't know if the camera will pick that up. But that's like a, a deep. like chestnut. Mahogany. It's absolutely beautiful. I can see there's a lot of carbonation going on there. Just for the top of the stem. The head is at least two of my thick fingers. And it's mousse like on top, it's sort of a foamy rocky on the edges, a few fish eyes there. So let's have a wee look, we can get our nose on it. Yeah, it's like a rich, fruity maltiness. Yeah, there's quite a lot going on there. I'm wondering now, it's not been that long in the fridge, I think I might have, it might be too cold still. Anyway, cheers my dears. Oh my goodness. That's so good. That is a fruit explosion. No, it's, it's like it tastes like sherry. It's like a. It's like a rich, fruity, you know, like plummy, raisiny, dark fruits, and a maltiness. And you can you can tell it's eleven percent. Of course, I'm not used to uh, strong beers. We didn't we just didn't get strong beers here. So that is absolutely superb. What does it say on untapped? Let me see. Untapped. Strafa Hendrik Bruges quadruple beer 11%. And it's brewery de half man. Half man. Belgian quadruple. 11% ABV, 35 IBU. I'm not getting any much bitterness at all. 123,000 check ins. Average score is 3.9. That's, that's too low. Brewery de Hartmann, they're in Bruges. Yeah. Uh, style guide, Belgian quadruple. Strafa Hendrik quadruple launched in 2010 is an intense beer dark in colour and full in taste the aroma is elegant, spicy and slightly roasted yeah the, sophistic the sophisticated blend of special kinds of malt 
give the beer a complex character, combining a delicate dryness with hints of coriander, dark fruits, anise and roasted chestnuts. The palate, fin the palate finishes in a syrupy taste. The re-fermentation re in the bottle creates a living beer that will evolve over the years. Srafondri Quadruple finds an excellent partner in chocolate when it comes to food pairing. The descriptors are dark, strong, sweet, smooth, malty. So, we shall go through the tasting sheet and break it down. I don't know what beer this is. Beer 122 or 125 or something. So, colour. Well, it's... it's What's, what does it say on here? 30. It's a very deep, dark brown, rich, chestnutty, mahogany brown. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really... It's a pity the camera doesn't pick those colours up. So it's like a 30, dark brown. Uh, the clarity... I can't see the light through it a bit. I can't see my hand through it. I can see the outline. I can see... So, this, uh, it's not that hazy, really. I hesitate to say clear, but I will say that. The colour of foam head retention is excellent, it's good. Foam texture is still mousse-like. The visual carbonation, it was, there was fast rising bubbles coming up for that nucleation point. I think it's stopped now. I can't see any at all. Still, uh, maybe a very, very few. Uh, I'm going to say slow. <laughs> now, the alcohol is noticeable. The hops, well, I'm getting spicy. But I don't know if that's the coriander that's... No, is there coriander in it? I don't think there is. Uh, not very piney, it's fruity. My God, it's fruity. Oh my goodness. The malt, well it's pruny. And roasty. I'm not getting any chocolate or coffee or... A slight molasses like treacle, but that's slight... Uh, the esters, well, it's plum and raisin. If that's the, the yeast that's causing that, that's the smells I'm getting. Oh my god, it smells quite sweet as well. The alcohol is noticeable. The hot flavour is, is fruity and slightly spicy. Hot bitterness restrained. The malt flavour is the pruny and the roasty. The malt sweetness is medium, I would say. I'll just turn it Oh my goodness, that's nice. Yeah, it's not... Is it, it's medium to high, I would say. Palate astringency is low. The body is mouth-coating. Palate carbonation is low. The length is long. <laughs> Still getting that, it's like... <laughs> the balance and drinkability desirable. Style, I'm going to say it's appropriate. I think this is the first quadruple I've ever had. That... What was the score they gave it in here? 3.9. Philistines and heathens are untapped. <laughs> I'm going to say... The highest rating I've ever given was 9.6. Is this better than that? Yeah. That's better. That's 9.8. That is one of the best beers I have ever tasted. Nine and a eight, nine and a point eight out of ten. And eleven percent. So I've got another five bottles of this. So I'm gonna keep them for special because that will keep and it'll improve. Even as that's warming up, 
there's more flavours coming through. I should have had it out of the fridge longer. I don't know what the ideal temperature for a beer like this would be. Maybe 15 centigrades? I don't know. I'll, I'll look that up and put it in. I can taste the alcohol. It's really nice. So if you can get your hands on that, I would definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. It's so rich and fruity and full-bodied. That is just so nice. Oh, yeah.